Hi guys, this is Cy from Cy and I Software. Um, today I'm going to go over some of the stuff in our sculpt meshing tools. Uh, a couple of people have talked to us and they were saying, you know, we're trying to run, remove double faces on our entire scene and we're having problems. Um, I wanted to give you a practical example and sort of explain to you, you know, some things that work and some that don't. Um, one thing before you go into anything, if it's got more faces than, you know, the more faces it has, the more it has to search. So if you had a building like this, which is many different parts, you're better off searching it uh, this way than going through and attaching it all together. Because once it once it's attached all together, it's gonna really have a trouble going through. And you know, how Max is set up, we have to go through, we have to adhere to some of their SDK. It's not like we've gone through and said, well, we'll remove this model from Max. We'll go through and do our own tests how we would like to do it and then bring it back in. So um, with that said, um, I'm gonna take this whole building here. And since it's in a whole bunch of different pieces, uh, it's going to be easier for me to go through with double faces. So I'm going to go ahead and first before I do this, I want to make sure that I weld this. Uh, I have this at a very, very low threshold, the scenes in meters. So um, with that said, it's going to go through. It's probably going to not make too much of a difference, but it will save on search time. Uh, I want to get, you know, stuff that is just a single poly there I want to get it welded all right that's done next thing that I want to do is I want to go through just with this and I'm gonna check for isolated verts um, this is a qu pretty quick check generally and I can see already I have some red pieces in here I'm gonna select those and I'm gonna get rid of those isolated verts all right next check I'm gonna do is now I'm going to grab this whole building and I'm going to do fine double faces. Now, buildings like this are a good example of what you would get in from someone's maiden SketchUp or it's come in from Revit or um, possibly Rhino or whatnot. So um, you want to watch, I mean, you don't want to grab your whole scene and of course go check for double faces. You're going to need to do it piecemeal. Um, it's just a lot of stuff to search and that's generally why um, no one's actually really been successful at creating a big script that was able to do that. We had to do this in C++. It's just too many things to search. Okay, so there's all our double faces. So I'm going to select all the red ones and let's do a detached double faces. Let's see what we end up with. So um, going through the search process, like I said, it's going to, in other videos, it's going to remove... As soon as it finds something with a double face, it's going to mark that one red and skip it and jump on. So it can actually do the search process a little faster. Where we do the remove or delete process, then all the ones that we know have bad double faces, it will have to search its entire geometry. So depending um, on the geometry, one function could be faster than the other. But you definitely want to use find first. Um, you never, unless it's just a tiny piece of geometry, um, you could just go detach or delete double faces and you'd be fine. Um, but on something like this, which is a lot of pieces, you want to go through and let it, you know, do its search first. So it's making its way through and it'll probably, you know, it, it, it'll still do some big stuff. Um, it's just, you know, it takes time. Uh, it won't hang it for, say, like a script uh, where it'll completely just shut down and, and not finish it. We've had ones where we tested on, you know, in our read to apologize and stuff like that, where something took a half an hour, which was really big, but it did it in the end. All right, so let's take a look at our double faces, and that's what we have. So there's quite a few in there, and that's, yeah, generally what you'd get out of um, typically a... Um, Revit model that you're bringing in. I mean, it's constantly going to have, you know, box against box against box, which would give you double faces. So let me just delete that. And so we brought we brought it down about 50,000 verts in the end. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is just restore the wire color. Just get it back to the way it was before we even touched it. And there you go. 
it's our sort of finished product. But um, like I said, I mean, it's it's our tools. I mean, we're slowly adding more and more stuff to this. Um, we're going to get into a lot more sub object stuff and and sort of finding similar faces, um, you know, uh, all sorts of different tools that might be useful. Uh, so, yep, bear with us. And hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks. See you.